Out of everyone in the Superman mythos, the only character who I just can't tolerate anymore is Lois Lane. What can I say? I prefer Lana than Lois. Except for the version in Smallville. Yeah, I don't like that one. Call me crazy, but I kind of miss the Loki fangirls, mostly because they were so easy to make fun of. Heck, I mean, I remember when they used to be considered the cancer of the Marvel Universe fanbase. No, seriously, look it up. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like there's been a certain amount of cameos of the Inhumans in Marvel Comics. Now, I don't know if it's to promote the upcoming Inhumans movie, but I think Marvel should cool it down a bit with the Inhumans. At least a tad bit, because it's kind of getting annoying. I'm starting to hate Wolverine, or at least the cinematic version of him, because he takes up so much space in the X-Men movies. Heck, my favorite X-Men movie of all time is First Class because it has nothing to do with him. I mean, yeah, there's a cameo, but still. Is it really so bad to focus on other, more interesting X-Men characters? Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them. Even if DC retcons him to be the founding member, or at least one of the founding members of the Justice League, Cyborg is and will always be considered to me a Titan. Constantine the TV show is is the most interesting horror show to me since Supernatural Season 5. Actually, scratch that, make it Season 2. I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, but I secretly enjoyed, and still do, Avengers Arena. And this is coming from a person who read The Runaways and Avengers Academy prior to this event and enjoyed them. I don't know, I guess it's just I have this thing for stories about teenagers killing each other, like Battle Royale, and to a certain extent the Hunger Games books 1 and 2, because fuck book 3, and the Dangarapa series. I still to this day believe Raven is one of the most boringest characters in DC Comics, and the fact that she has a boring personality kind of solidifies this thought. I've watched the entire season of season 1, and I still don't like the TV show Gotham. Seriously, what is so good about that show? For some reason, I hold Watchmen, the movie version, as a a standard for how comic book movies should be made. What I mean by that is deep plot, non-cliche-ish characterization, and amazing music. A lot of people are wanting a Runaways movie, but I would strongly prefer a TV show given the tremendous amount of characterization that goes with the main group. <sighs> as much as it pains me to say this, Tim Seedley is the only writer that has ever managed to get me to be interested in Dick Grayson because of his work on the comic book series Grayson. Batman becoming a new god has got to be one of the most stupidest ideas I have ever heard in comic book history, and it's probably the most out of character I have ever seen him. If I remember correctly, Batman spoke against the Green Lanterns because he considers them too powerful. He also made plans to defeat his own team, the Justice League, in case they ever lose control. Heck, that was one of the main plot points in, I believe, one of the Justice League movies. I think it was called Justice League Doom, but that doesn't matter. It seems to me that Batman just can't stand anybody being better than him in anything. 